As we prepare to officially say goodbye to summer, an important reminder of the tight grip COVID-19 still has on our entire community. As WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough explains tonight, there's the potential for more trouble and heartache in the weeks and months ahead. Alabama is seeing some progress in its fight against COVID-19 as the summer winds down. The state's positivity rate is down to nearly 10 percent and COVID hospitalizations are down to around 300 statewide. However, Alabama has already recorded more than 585,000 total COVID cases so far in 2022. More than the 538,000 total cases the state saw in all of 2021 and the 387,000 cases in all of 2020. Since the start of the pandemic, 20,322 Alabamians have lost their lives to COVID-19. You know, from July 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2021, Alabama had more deaths than births. And I, I think we don't need to lose sight of that. We don't need to forget how devastating COVID was for our communities. COVID booster shots designed to better target the circulating Omicron subvariants are making their way to Alabama. Many pharmacies already have the new vaccines, while some are still waiting for their shipments to arrive. Some people in our area wasted no time getting to the pharmacy. Yes, I will be going to get the shot. Yes, my children will be going to get the shot. Anything we can do to keep me from ending up in the ICU and on a ventilator. COVID-19 hospitalizations across the state are certainly much lower right now. But hospitals say they're seeing a general uptick in the number of people visiting the emergency room. That's why doctors want to take this opportunity to tell you why it is you should visit the emergency room in the first place. But generally, the people that we see in emergency departments are having strokes, brain bleeds, uh, heart attacks, uh, major car accidents. The uptick in ER visits could prove even more problematic if we see another COVID surge in the fall and winter months. Doctors say another surge is certainly possible if we don't take precautions and don't get boosted. It's not a time for us to let down our guard. Those who have fought their way through COVID say it's not something they want to struggle through again. It's not something I would wish upon my worst enemy, but you know, I'm still here. My children are still here. Alabama is entering a critical phase that could ultimately determine how the next few months play out. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.